comment So, most, we're live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to our first doubles semifinals. One double semifinals already uh, is over. Conrado Moscoso, Roland Keller, they will advance to the finals tomorrow over Colombia. 2 0. Relatively easy match. 2 and 0. Did you say it was? Oh, two, two, two games to zero. zero. Okay. One and five, I believe. Right now we're at USA versus Mexico. Charlie Pratt, Alex Landa taking on Mar and Montoya. Landa already has himself a spot in the finals for singles. Mar called the, that was the skip call. Head official Franco Copandegui, Argentina. Fabian Torres and Giovanni. Torres from uh, Colombia, Giovanni from here, a local favorite. I don't know if that's Giovanni or if it's uh, Julian Cruz. Might be Julian. Giovanni's Julian? refereeing on oh, a different okay. court I saw. And he's, a, he's a Giovanni clone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah, that's Julian. Okay, thank you. I stand corrected. Wow, that's a crack. The guys from Mexico are out of singles. Well, Javier Mar didn't participate in singles, but Rodrigo Montoya did. Came up very short. Not normal. Not wow. normal. There's something about the doubles play of Javier Mar. It's absolutely fantastic. Pratt, living back in Oregon again. Replay it. A little safety there. Look at that behind the back. Landa buries that in the corner. This should be a really good match, ladies and gentlemen. Mexico I, has a one nothing lead. I looked at the uh, Vegas odds, it's a toss up. It's a coin flip, coin flip. Uh, again, there's something uh, about the doubles player from Javi Amar. I feel like he's, he's turning into one of the best doubles players out there. Rodrigo plays very well on the left side. Um, he does play a lot better when he's got Javier Amar with him. Whatever, it's a, ni it's a nice tandem, Dean. Wow. Good start, 3-0. I want to say hi to the famous Todd O'Neill in the chat box. What a great guy. Great stories come from the mouth of Todd O'Neill, I have to say. Todd, don't worry, your secrets are safe with me. <laughs> Todd's my ex-roommate. Damian Montoya did play singles and he did lose to Jake. Charlie lost his footing, skipped it in. Quick hands, tremendous. Want to say hi to the famous Tim Baghurst watching at home. To Emigo, Tim Baghurst. Dean, hello buddy. <laughs> Tallahassee, Florida now. Five nothing, Mexico. I tell you, what, one of the things you got to look at is, is, Ale is Alex Landa tired? He's been here all day. Since his match was over, he didn't leave the club. He did get stretched, and he was resting a little bit, but he's been here. And I'm not a fan of that. 
We'll see. Good cover. Well, these players Set. switch sides here. Wow, Marr was right on it. He was. Team USA in the blue. They're serving. Alex Landers on the right. Charlie Pratt is on the left. In the back, we have on the right, Javier Mar and Montoya is on the left. A beautiful shot down Broadway for a winner. Still 0-5, USA yet to score. Here in Guatemala City, the capital. The Central Deportiva, a new facility here with 10 beautiful courts. Point on the board, Dean. They needed that. Sometimes the first one's difficult and then they come in bunches, we shall see. We have two women's doubles coming up. Ooh, Charlie just missed that one. Stay with us, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, we have two doubles matches. Coming up next will be... Side out. 5-1, game one. Montoya serving for Team Mexico. Next up is Mexico versus Guatemala. Wow, what a diving get. Oh my. And as usual, Montoya had his hand up looking for a replay. Charlie was kind of in the way there. Didn't really shoot. One five. Still one five. Cinco. I want Charlie to shoot that one. Good cover. What a get from Mar. Can't get that one. Landa made sure of it. Point number two, Team USA. One at a time, that's all they really got to think about. Early here in game one. Lando will play in the final of the men's singles, going for the world title against Andres Acuna from Costa Rica. We kicked off today with two men's singles, both two hour matches. This happens to be the two o'clock match. And right here it's 5.30 Central Time USA here in the capital of Guatemala City. Two o'clock. Charlie missed that one. Point number six, six two. Want to thank the Gearbox for being the official ball of the IRF. Gearbox Black, check them out online, www.gearboxsports.com. Want to thank the Zurich Foundation for supporting the broadcast, as well as Court Wars, presented by Williams Accounting. And of course, Planeta Racquet Bowl. Please check them out on social media. Uh, skip in. Another miss by Charlie Pratt. USA's calling a timeout. Let's take a break ourselves. We'll be back right here on the International Record Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and 
and stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch the way you play it and that, that uh, makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and, and makes you uh, want to play it hard so, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little bit glad to get your M40 so you can play like me. Guatemala. My partner is uh, throwing out all his quetzales here. I don't even know what they're worth, but I'm trying to get coffee for us. Thank you, Planet the Racket Ball. You saw their logo and their social media. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, it's 7 2. 8 2. Ocho. Make that 8 2. You stand correct. Charlie's asking his team. Now it's 9-2, that was a point. But I don't know if he's appealing or not. They're not gonna. He was asking his team. He said no. Three unused appeals available in each game. Two timeouts, one minute in length in IRF play. Two minute break after each game. Charlie's got to shoot that one, Gary. There's a winner by Landa. Left side, great. Said he pulled his racket up. Yeah, he, he adjusted well from the forehand to the backhand once he saw it spin out of the corner. Durham is the UNS coach. Jim Durham from Fresno. Fabian Padilla. Sanders Cotasi is the Mexican coach. Ah, ball down. No change in score. 2 9. Game one. 20th International Racquetball Federation World Championships here in La Capital, Guatemala City. Pretty wasn't, flat. Wasn't the serve he wanted. Ball Not didn't nick, came was loose. Set up, Rodrigo. No change in score, 9-2 Mexico. First to 15, win by one. Game one. Hand out. Yeah, that timeout did, definitely didn't help the uh, Team USA. They're gonna take their second right here. Timeout coming. We'll take a break too, we'll be back. On the oh, uh, wait a second, I think it's uh, not a timeout, I think it's a racket, so let's stay here, check that. It's a, an official time. Sorry, equipment, once I Equipment time in uh, international play is an official time. US play, it's not unless team has exhausted their allotment of timeouts, then it becomes an official time. Ten two. Good cover back by Charlie Pratt. That was a good ball. I thought it skipped for a second, but Kind of rolled pretty nicely. Point scored 11-2. First to 15. 
in games one and two. If it goes to third, called a tiebreaker. It's an 11 point game. Shot by Charlie, forcing an unsuccessful return by Montoya, left side, side out, 2 11. The read by Javier Mar, he was all over Charlie's pinch. He's so big, such a great reach. Yeah, and Not he's got phenomenal reach. hands. Phenomenal. Hola, Simon Chavez. Wow, that was also pretty flat. I'll tell you, Team Mexico is playing some amazing doubles right now. Gary, we're at 11-2. Don't count anybody out. We saw what happened with Moscoso after that first game, 15-3, ended up losing in a tiebreak. And a phenomenal match to Andre Sapunia. No, to Landa. Moscoso was on the top against Landa. Correct. Thank you. I stand corrected. The Colombian or the Bolivian playing for Colombia. There's the second Lost timeout. The second one. Mercado. Second timeout used by USA, huh? Yeah, let's take a break. We can pay for the broadcast. We'll be back on the, uh, on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, everyone. Play is in 12-2, Mexico. Good timeout. Skip the front wall, part of that 70%. Uh, That's right. Some of these players, uh, Dean, will be in Birmingham for the World Games. It's not a doubles event. It's a single elimination singles event. 16 male and female athletes will be there. This is a qualifier in the singles. Timeout. Yeah, they, they needed that. You know, they're down by 10. They got a mountain in front of them. Look at that round the world. They're gonna, they're gonna stop play. Mark came in to take it out of the air. So, okay, so let's let's talk really quick about this because such a late call, any called an avoidable. Now, wouldn't you think if it's an avoidable, he's gonna call that instantly? The answer to your question is yes. One up, one down. So, a loss of an appeal by from Team Mexico. They have two left. Right, it was it was against it was against the US. So yeah. also an appeal for the US. Mark came in to take it early. 
which say, is his say opportunity. Yeah, right. Franco, next time she call that right away. As a player, you want the ref to make that call right away on either side. Correct. And to be consistent. Two points from game one, Team Mexico, Mar serving. So uh, Steve, is there any word on Ronda? Is she gonna play? Uh, she hasn't um, ruled herself out for doubles and if anyone knows Ronda, uh, she'll be there. We're at game point number one for Team Mexico. Not the, not the match we thought this would be. Replay it. Where I, the fact that she came back to finish the singles leads me to believe anyway that she'll be there in doubles, even though she was on one foot. Perfect spot by Alex Landa. That's him. Soft hands. So second chance for game one, 14-2. Set up. Game one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Mexico leads 15-2. We'll be back for the start of game two right here on the International Racquetball Federation. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back everyone, Dean Bear and Gary Mazaroff back in action. But Team USA needs Alex Landa to take more control and kill more balls, to be honest. Encouragement from Durham during the break. They have to execute. They have to score some points. Good diving get. Sa safety hold up. Yeah, Rodrigo does that a lot. And Franco honored it. So serve again, zero, zero. Good serve along that vidrio there. Nice kill shot by Charlie Pratt. Durham's words of encouragement point for U.S. Let's 
Skipped it in, side out, 0 1. Javier Mar. Team Mexico. Then semi in the doubles. One down. Pratt rolls it out into the right corner. It's 0 2. Our scoreboard now jives with the official scoreboard. Wrap around. Ooh. Let's see the call on this. USA's hit team Mexico. Appears to be a dead ball hinder replay. So, no, it's side out. Two zip. Voidable hinder. Good start for Team USA, Dean. Three yeah, zip. Definitely starting to kill balls. Whatever Durham told him, it's worked thus far. Another point for Team USA, four serving zero. Landa continues to serve. Putting that ball deep into that glass. Rare leave up by Mark. Ball live. Wide angle. Diving get Montoya. That was pretty flat by Charlie Pratt, ladies and gentlemen. Well said. Five zip. Tides have turned. It was five zip the other way in game one. Game one, 15-2 Mexico. They find themselves with a five point deficit in game two. Big miss by Landa. Hand out. Goes with the deep Z, left side. Good save. Quick hands. Nobody home left side. Look, there's Montoya, he's got the arm up. He wants to block. It's a predicament, he put himself in that position. 6-0. Tell, tell you what I like, uh, a lot of the kids are playing now tonight. You see Costa Rica play on court four, and there's you know someone playing in the finals of the men's tomorrow, Andres Acuna, cheering him on, talking to him in between breaks. That's huge. You gotta love that. Gigante. Meanwhile, 6-0. I mean, if, if you wrote the script, this is what you, USA wanted. Yeah, they, they got blown out. They got blown out in game one. Now they have a 6-0 lead. They need to come in. They needed to come in game one this way. Should we give should we give him a do over? No. <laughs> that means we got to stay longer. I tell you Gary, we're going to sleep like babies tonight, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here tomorrow to stream four matches. It's going to feel like a cakewalk, four matches. 
It's like a half a day. Behind the back by Montoya. Wraps it around, puts it into the floor. Landa tried to cut that off, he shouldn't have. First point for Team Mexico in game two, 1 6. Javier Amar serving right side for Team Mexico. 20th edition of the National Racquetball Federation World Championships. Good track down by Charlie Pratt. That was a good get, ladies and Just gentlemen. Charlie very rarely gets that he's animated. animated. He'll get up and appeal. Landa shouting. I think it was over. I think it was one up, one down. So they lose the appeal, and they lose one of their three appeals for this game. Unless it's a, a rules interpretation question, Franco should say play ball, that's my call. They went through the process, it's over with, play ball. This is a delay. Yeah, but the ref is entertaining it, so, you know, or it did entertain the, the conversation. Call stands. 6-2. Two. 2-6. Two, six. Mexico serving two, serving six, game two. Three defensive shots, four in a row. Montoya buries that straight down the line. Smooth, didn't overhit it. We're at three six, so they have the lead and they get four. Blink your eyes a couple times, Mexico's right back in it. Trying to close this out, earn a berth in the final tomorrow. Play Team Bolivia. Earlier they defeated Team Colombia two games to zero. Now we're at five, six. Short serve, fault, second serve. A few years back, the IRF went back to the two serve rule for open. Nice reverse, reverse pinch by Landa. So after making the score five, six, there's a handout. Rodrigo Montoya serving. <laughs> Rally ending shot right corner by Charlie Pratt. Moved back to Portland a little while ago. Portland, Oregon. Here's Once again. a referee timeout to mop up the floor. At this time, I want to say thank you to the Zurich Foundation, also to Court Wars, presented by Williams Accounting and Planeta Racquetball. Please 
check them out on social media. We thank Planeta Racquetball for supporting the broadcast. Really do appreciate it. They got Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. They're just loving racquetball, sharing racquetball. That's what it's about. Back to the action. Good get by Pratt. Kick. Front wall, side wall winner. Pratt was anticipating a right side wall pinch. He got flat footed, but fortunately with his athleticism, he kept the ball in play. Then again, it was a handout for Team Mexico. So second server, no change in the score. Charlie looked like Charlie was going for the reverse pinch, so that's just a replay. Now, could a referee call, like, side out there, or if he held up? He can, right? Well, he held up, so he honored the, the uh, hold up, the which he doesn't have to do because, really, sometimes he's not entitled to the reverse. Coverage right there. Mar was stuck behind Landa. Landa pushed it right down the line, but Rodrigo Montoya was right there. Alex has to recognize that, need to throw the pinch in or a cross court. Charlie thinks that was good. Go through the, go through the process, Charlie. Paul Stans, another appeal used by Team USA, Dean. Charlie looked at Alex Ned, I guess it skipped. With authority in the corner for Alex Landa. Dean, we got a coaching concern here. You, Team USA has used two of the three available appeals. 6-6 six, six in game two. They may need those later on. I'm not convinced you want the, your players, Jim Durham, to just well, all some, of a sudden appeal it. Sometimes as a coach, you can't stop them because they're in there. You know, Charlie was that first one. He was so animated that he got that ball, and that's not like Charlie Pratt. Before you appeal, look at your coach. Good shot. Game management, timeouts and appeals. They certainly can enter the equation. So, empate, seis igual. I think that's Serripite. 6-6 six, six still. Still 6-6. Six, six. Replay it. Good serve by Land that it was stuck against the glass. Lap around. Ball live. Left up pinch. Great hand front court action by all four of these guys. Great get, phenomenal rally. 7-6. Landa going with that high lob down the, the glass. Flat. That was, yeah. That came off the stick of Alex Landa. 8-6. So, U.S. got him out after Mexico tied it at six. Coming in and scored two straight. 
Same serve. A little loose on that one. He's going to hold. He held up. It's got to be just a replay. I would think so. I want to say hi to Sergio Acuna watching. First of all, huge congratulations, Sergio. Uh, your brother gave you all the props in his interview, so congratulations. Montoya. Pratt. Landon good let, keeps. good leave by Charlie Pratt. Half speed right there by Montoya. Caught USA off guard. Pratt serving 8-6, Team USA. Trying to force a tie break. Wow. Great, great <laughs> shot by Rodrigo, right corner. I don't know if we're gonna see a tiebreaker, to be honest. We're in game two here in Guatemala City. 20th World Racquetball Championships. Calls it a skip. Yeah. Landa, fist pump. Tried to sell it, I think. 7-8, game two. What, uh, what this Mexico team does very well, they cover each other's back, Gary, and we're seeing it all match long here. It's like a symphony, my friend. Called it short. Going for that near side crack. In the middle, different twist. Landa thought that was two bounces. They have one appeal left. Don't need it there, side out. Eight seven, USA. Have another towel timeout. Thank you to all the empleados here, the workers here at the Central Deportiva, the new complex for racquetball. It's a multi-disciplined sports park. Next door is another facility with 11 squash courts. Score good serve by Landa that time. Two point lead, Team USA. Ceiling serve, that's a fault. Front wall ceiling. Oh, Charlie left that for Alex. I think he was anticipating that right side pinch. It's just a great shot by Marr. Big reach from Marr.
Look at those hands from Harry and Mar. 10-7 on that scoreboard. USA inching towards the 15, looking for a breaker. I'll tell you, Gary, I'm impressed with the play from Landa and Charlie uh, in game two here. Whatever adjustments Coach Durham told them to use, they have. Well, they're being very smart as it's 12, as it's 11-7. I think it's 11-7. It's 11-7. They'll take a break. We will too. We'll be back right here on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, everyone. We appreciate the support watching racquetball here. You're watching the 20th IRF Racquetball World Championships. This is men's doubles. The winner of this match will take on Bolivia tomorrow. Thank you, Tim Baghurst, Dr. Baghurst, for your answer regarding squash and squash 57. I did, that's unavoidable. Yeah, that was a block. Well, T Team USA is not happy. E easy call. They don't want to waste in their last appeal on that one. That was a no brainer. I Landa's probably getting a warning here, Gary, I think. See if he, can you see if he's talking to the ref? But the, the ref is, is a little bit animated and is going into the court. Is that, is that necessary? Or can the, can the verbiage be done from outside the court? It should be done from outside the court. Because going in is almost confrontational. They gave him a technical. So they're down to, back down to 10. He, he needs to control the flow of play. If there's a question on a rule interpretation, fine, stop play and explain it. But this is his perception. He made the call, say, the call is made, let's play ball. If they continue that behavior, you give them, in a kind way, you give them a technical warning after at, it's a player, it's a uh, referee technical. And folks, if you get three referee technicals in international play, you're disqualified. Now, what if there was a drop-down bracket or something? Would you be disqualified from that also? No, you're disqualified from that match. From the match. Yeah, that's a good timeout. So let's take a break. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran. Get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, everyone. Men's doubles right here. The winners will take on Conrado Moscoso, Carlos, uh, Roland Keller, and Bolivia. Tomorrow, men's doubles is at 2. The schedule for tomorrow is going to be 11 a.m. Men's singles, 
noon women's singles, 2 p.m. men's doubles, 4 p.m. women's doubles. Four matches right here. USA really needs to gain their composure here and get that point back that they gave away. Yeah, negative energy. And there it is by the skip of Rodrigo Montoya. Landa misses one. Oh, that? It's a different twist on that serve. Went with the jam into the middle. 10-10. They were up 11. They were up 11-8 or 11-9. Now they're tied at 10 because of a technical. Good grab by Platt. What a diving get by Moore. Good communication, Landa got out of the way. Back in position. Si repite, that's a good call. Yeah, not only did he have Pratt in the way, he had his partner in the way as well. <laughs> First serve, 10-10, as you said, Dean. Referee technical, there was a reduction in one point. Dawn, I will go over the whole schedule tomorrow, don't worry. Broken ball. Wow, they broke it on a lob serve. That means he knew it was broken. Now, will they replay that last point or no? No. Because it broke on the lob serve? The only way you can test the ball is to squeeze it. So the interpretation is I'm not sure if it broke then or before. If I'm not sure, then. First serve. 10 10. Go with that jam again. Beautiful shot down the line by Charlie Pratt. Empate, Diaz. Sirve a Diaz. 10 10. Game two. High lob, right side. Wow, what a shot. Nonchalant. Sounded like it skipped to me. <laughs> <laughs> then again, it's late in the day. That's another good thing I like that you got the referees kind of changing so no one gets stale as a ref. We're fortunate to have a cadre of 18 officials from six countries here. That was a side out. Not, not a good inning for Team USA there. No, no score for them. Empty. Wow, a diving rollout by Javier Moore with a reverse pinch. Landa recognizes it. <laughs> Let's take a look. Watch this play while they, while they scoop up the court. Landa goes pinch, and he does reverse pinch <laughs> kill shot. Fantastic. Things going cross court. Montoya got tied up on the backhand. Ladies and gentlemen, men's and women's singles are set. Men's singles coming up 11 a.m. Alex Landa, the number one seed against number two, Andres Acuna. And on the women's side, it's the number one seed, Paolo Longoria, taking on, I think it's the 11th seed, Kalani Lawrence. So Great. that's the women and the men singles. And Sergio, yes, that is the plan. Uh, obviously, it takes resources, and we're trying to work out those resources. Oh. 
Oh, uh, Montoya pushed that one. This is a pretty good rally. Point, I thought that skipped. Charlie Pratt's. The signal can't. by Franco, the head ref, is good. Point scored. Twelve ten, Mexico. They've overcome their deficit this game. Wow, looked like a crack ace. Thought he got it. He did. Okay. Appeal by Team USA. Overruled. Both down, overruled. So they still have one available. Appeal. So we got to see it repeat because the referee halted play, correct? With the ace serve. The answer is yes. Good diving get. Big set up front of the court, Landa. Montoya grabs it. With authority by Alex Landa. The number one seed in singles. Asserting his authority in the doubles game. And the USA needs that. Rally ending, near side pinch, right side with the forehand, Landa. Coming in to serve, 10-12. Mexico versus Guatemala on the women's side. Doubles coming up next. Samantha Salas, Paula Longoria, Maria Renee Rodriguez, and Gabby Martinez. Good diving get there by Charlie Pratt. Nice save. Nice get by Javier Mar. Flying off the back wall, you know Mar uh, Montoya wants that one back. Let's talk about how difficult it is to uh, just officiate the doubles game, Gary, especially at this level. You know, it's gotta be, it's gotta be very difficult for these refs. Oh, absolutely. They're trained. They're paid, reimbursed for expenses. Mistake Landa. We're gonna ask for an avoidable. I think that's gonna be an over. One up, one down, appeal used Mexico. Se repite. Skipped in, Montoya. He wants that one back, Dean. So now we're at empate again, a tie at 12. Dose igual. Absolutely. Just remember, it would have been 13 had they not given away that free point before. Yep. What ifs? <laughs> wow, what a rally. Let's take a look at this, Gary. Let's look at this get. First of all, I'm not happy with the shot by Marr. He really takes like a half a swing, but Charlie just dinks it into the side. Now he barely gets a racket on it and puts it right back there, and now Landa can't get it, and he's angry. <laughs> he hit the same shot he hit on the return of serves. He was just closer to the front wall. Skip. That ball skipped in. Come on, Montoya knew that. He was, uh, he was selling it. Referee's not buying it. Once again, there shouldn't be this discussion. Well, he might be asking for a wet ball.
One up, one down, appeal used. He's the, the, so the line judge over here really thought it was uh, it was good. Right. If they dis yeah, disagree. So they, Mexico's lost two appeals quick, quickly. Wrap around. Good save there by Charlie. That ball skipped in. Yes, Oscar, the doubles finals is tomorrow. The winner of this match will take on Conrado Moscoso, Roland Keller. That will be at 2 p.m. The women's doubles will be at 4 p.m. Those teams are not done playing yet. Charlie liked that one back. It would be game point. So we have a timeout on the floor here. Yeah, timeout for them. Let's take a break. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. We're back, folks. Gary Mazaroff. Dean Bear. 12-13, Mexico serving, trying to close this out. Earn a berth in the final against Team Bolivia. Keller and Moscoso. So now, we have a tie at 13, empate, Teresa. that 14-13, so Team Mexico, match point number one. Timeout USA. We'll stay here. This is the 20th edition of the International Racquetball Federation World Championships here in Guatemala City. Guatemala, the capital. About a million people in the city, the metro area about seven million. It's the first time Guatemala has hosted this high a tier of an international event. They just completed this new complejo, this complex, Central Deportiva. It's a multi-sport park. So we're back to play. Mexico, match point number one, Mar on the right, serving. Here we go. I Z to Amanda. There it is. is. Match two straight, 15-2, 15-13. Mexico versus Bolivia in the finals. Gary, your thoughts here. Did the, did the technical come back to haunt them? No, not really. No? I, th I think the better team won. They executed better, as you alluded to earlier. They've played together a lot. They know each other's nuances. They're smooth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was well coached uh, on both ends. It was a good match. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a quick break. We'll be back with the, with the winners. Montoya Mar, right here on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40, 
so you can play like me. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Club. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the winners, Javier Mar, Rodrigo Montoya from Mexico. The finals tomorrow, first of all, congratulations. But you guys are very, you're well, a very well played team. You guys play like a team. Did it feel good out there today? Uh, yeah, we feel great, but we have some things that we have to change for the next match. But it feels great, I don't know, Rodrigo. Yeah, we feel great as the, we, have been playing for a long time. We are very coordinating and we did a great match. Yeah, I mean, game one was all Mexico. USA made a push, but you guys held them off. So congratulations on that. Um, Bolivia tomorrow in the finals, you got a tough opponent. Uh, what's the game plan? Uh, we don't have a game plan right now, but we, uh, we know that they are a very hard team to beat and uh, we're going to give our best. Now, there's a lot of people in Mexico that were watching. Obviously, you got the whole Mexican team watching you guys and cheering for you guys, and the ladies are up next. What do you want to say to the people in Mexico that were watching? First of all, thank you for coming and cheering us. It's very important that they... Also, it's really good that all the juniors are here. It's a, a special support, and we also wanted to thank to all the sponsors, our families, or all the people that cheering us from Mexico and let's give everything tomorrow on the finals. Yeah, what about those people back in Chihuahua that were watching? Oh, my dad, my family and his family, we love them. Uh, we can feel the cheers from, from Chihuahua. Yeah, well, let them know in Spanish. Talk to them, tell them. Muchas gracias a todos los que nos están apoyando desde Chihuahua, mi familia, mi novia, mi hermana, todos los patrocinadores. Les mando un saludo hasta allá y vamos mañana con todo. Sí, pues lo mismo, esperarlos mañana con todo su apoyo. Vamos por esa medalla por México y la verdad que agradecerles porque sin ustedes no estaríamos aquí y pues con el favor de Dios a darlo todo mañana. Gracias. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Finalists, Mexico, Javier Mar, Rodrigo Montoya. The women are up next. Mexico again, Longoria, Salas against the Guatemalans, Gabby Martinez and Maria Renee Rodriguez. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation.